Today I'm going to discuss fill surface. Now, I just did a video on through curve mesh. It allows me to pick a point to make my surface up to, and there's very specific reasons why I may want to do that. In most cases, you want to avoid that. Uh, this fill surface that I'm going to discuss will also patch in a triangular surface, but how it constructs the surface is different than the through curve mesh. So for this, I'm gonna pick my edge. And you'll notice that I have G1 continuity set, so it's gonna be G1. I'm gonna go around, select these curves, and create my surface. It's fairly straightforward. I have some additional shape controls in here that I'll talk about in a minute. I'll select OK. And as we look at this, we have a nice looking, clean surface that runs through all of my inputs. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the through curve mesh surface. And I want you to note that there are differences in what those surfaces look like. If I were to do a comparison of these, let's go into view, we'll go into section, I want to cut a section between these, you can see that there is a difference in those surfaces, even though they're created from the exact same inputs. The through curve mesh drives, in this case, a little bit higher. And the reason why this happens, let me go ahead and hide this for a moment. I'm going to go back into analysis, pick this surface. This is the fill surface that I've selected. Show poles. And notice the control polygon that this has built. This is parameterized into a square surface, and then it's just simply trimmed back to these boundaries. If I hide that and show my through curve mesh, and then show pulls on this, you'll notice that this is, again, it looks like it's parameterized as three sides, but it actually does have a four side. This is the fourth side is being forced to compress down into a singularity, which is bad. Unless, again, you're building some form of a nose cone that specifically needs that as a requirement or some other high um, requirement that you may have set by an arrow group or something like that. But otherwise, you want to keep away from this. So I'm going to go ahead and show the control polygon from the fill, and you can see as an overlay how different those polygons look to one another. Okay, let me pick this, show poles, let me hide it. Pick this, hide show poles, let me hide that. Additional functionality that I have for the fill surface, I'm gonna double click on this, is I have what's called shape control. Under shape control I have none, fullness, fit to curves, or fit to facet body. So for this, I'm just gonna say fullness. This gives me a control offset in the middle of my surface. So I can pull this up, and what you can see is I'm adding a little fullness to that surface. So if you needed just a little bit of, a little additional puffiness or a little flatness, you can go in there and use that to give it a little bit of shape. Other options that I have are fit to curves and fit to facet body. I'll talk about these in a little later lecture. So if you have an STL or something along those lines, you, you can draw curves on top of the STL, do a fill surface, and use that facet body as sort of a driver for where you want the fill surface to go, and the same thing for curves. Again, if I look at the poles with the additional fullness that I've added in there, let me go ahead and double click on that and drag this up. You can see that the control polygon is morphing. In this case, because I'm using such a radical shape, the polygon is getting far more exaggerated and extreme. Select OK leave it at that. So that's the fill surface. Great tool. Again, if you get painted into a corner, you may try using it, 
to get out of that corner. Typically it's best to, as far as uh, parameterizing your surface with four sides. You can pick five, six, seven sides to do a fill surface. It will do a four-sided parameterized surface that just trims back to those boundaries. Uh, but the best thing you can do is build a smart, logical, four-sided four uh, four surface and then trim away what you don't need yourself. Again, this, this, this looks like it's a little uh, complicated as far as how much math is involved on the surface. It's uh, I didn't even show knot points. You can see how many subdivisions it has as far as patches, internal patches, quite a few. So um, fill surface, good tool, good way to, uh, paint, uh, to get yourself out of being painted in a corner.